All right, we'll see how this goes. But uh, I'm about to go to work. I don't want to go to work, but I have to. I gotta pay the bills. I'm actually looking for another job right now, you know, but whatever. Anyway, uh, it's so cold that. What is going on? Like, it's hard. The, the gum is hard. My hands are frozen. My rings don't even fit on my fingers right now. Ugh. All right, but yeah, I gotta go to work. My favorite artist on Instagram followed me back. It's been so long. I didn't, you know what? I never once in my life thought that, that guy would ever follow me. So you know what? That means like, one, I'm happy. Like the second I saw that he followed me, I like screamed in my apartment. I was like, yes! And I started dancing around doing some weird shit. Whatever, that's all right. Anyway, super exciting. Since I've got his eyes on me now. That means uh, I gotta step my shit up. I gotta get better. I gotta, like, obviously fine art's cool, but like I gotta start really, oops. I really gotta start, um, just like I said, getting better, you know what I mean? Like, I need to start figuring some stuff out on Procreate, um, keep putting out, and whatever, but like, for real though, I gotta, I really gotta push it now, you know what I mean? Because, I don't know, like I said, I got that extra set of eyes, uh, like, someone that's that I idolize is now seeing my work. Um, so like I said, yeah, I just gotta start putting out, and really, one, keep him around but two it's just let's just see where this goes you know what i mean i think this is just this is one more step forward even if it's literally as simple as someone following me on instagram right you know what i mean like it's not that i really care that much but it's like one of my idols so that means a lot to me so um yeah i just i guess just ugh, i don't even know right anyway so i have um christmas is coming I want to do, I want to make like a gift for my grandparents. Um, so that's going to take us some time. And then I got to, I'm going to redo my Crip Kringle again this year. I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to do it every year, but that's the trend it's taking. And I'm definitely going to do it this year, my Crip Kringle. Um, this time it's not going to be the same looking one. Um, but I've got a lot more in mind. I'm going to do the candy cane, uh, the candy cane cane this year. It's going to have bling on it. Now that I know how to ice it out, man. Oh my God, I'm going to go deep. This is going to be dope. I'm excited for this part. But yeah, and then I've got some traditional pieces. So I did, I sketched out like, I wanted to do an Oni mask. And then I just said Oni, really weird. Oni? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, I was like a, a, a hairless cat. It would mix with an Oni. Like, I understand that doesn't make sense at all, but like, it's just an idea. You know what? I really like it. Honestly, after work tonight, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a shower, and I think before that even, I'm probably gonna buy a bang or some sort of energy drink and just stay up like a crackhead. So, I, I'm i motivated tonight, honestly. Um, and I, honestly, the next couple of days even, maybe the rest of this month, I'm gonna be being a crackhead, pushing myself and hating my life for a little while. <laughs> just that means getting art out, whatever, man. I gotta do it, so. I gotta get used to doing that, you know what I mean? There's this part in me that I'm living as healthy as I can. And okay, I'll take that back. I'm living healthy, but not as you know well as I can. Sometimes I do stupid things, but like who doesn't? But a lot of me, like I wanna get eight hours of sleep. <coughs> God dang it. I can't even see it so bright. Oh my God, anyway. The hell was I saying? Shit. Oh, I'm young, and you know what? Like, there's one part of me that, like, I want to, like, live healthy now, but, like, I can do that later. Um, and I don't mean, like, eat junk food and drink liquor every night and don't drink water ever. Watch, I don't really drink water ever. It kind of sucks, but I do feel that lately. There's just some things that's, like, staying up late and not getting eight hours of sleep. Like, I'm not gonna let that shit ever catch up with me. Like, I'm not gonna do every single day for a month getting like four hours of sleep. Absolutely, positively not. But, I, I think like, I'm gonna start getting to a point where like, I'm gonna go into like grind or die mode. Like, I'm already there, but like, I think I'm gonna go even deeper if I can, you know what I mean? And 
Because, I mean, the thing is, is just I've got so many things happening right now that, like, I mean, it can be stressful sometimes. And I've got organizational issues. This is, like, half the reason why I spit two YouTube videos out and I don't touch it for two months. That's just how everything else seems to go. Like, I'm always trying to put art out. I, can, oh, I gotta work. I gotta deal with some church things that I'm trying to get into. And then I've got projects, projects, projects. Um, and there's just so much. You know, and sometimes it's, it, it gets a little overwhelming, but um, I gotta do it, you know? And like, I'm ready. Like, I think I'm just gonna hammer shit out and put more art out and just level up and just see what happens, you know? Because what happens when I get my one billion followers on, or subscribers on YouTube and 30 billion people follow me on Instagram and my life is set because I have a bunch of fans and people that will buy my art so I can just doodle on paper for the rest of my life not have to worry about anything else. My my work is literally just drawing like a fucking goofball, you know? Like, that's the goal. That would be amazing, you know? One can only hope. And then I've told this, and then there's another dream of mine. And I don't know. Is it is it wise to really, like, tell people your dreams? And especially this, because I'm making a video and it's probably going to be on YouTube, so... But is it wise to like tell people your goals and stuff like that? They say keep your goals to yourself because otherwise if you don't, then you're not gonna, like you won't fall. I don't know what it is. I've just heard that don't tell people what you're trying to do. You know what I mean? And like really the reason has never ever been that clear, at least in my opinion, but I, I can understand it. But if you keep it to yourself, it's more of your dream instead of like getting other people involved with it or something. I don't know, whatever. I'm kind of rambling right now, but I just bit my lip for the fifth time of that now. You know, today was a pretty good day. Um, went to get coffee with someone earlier today and just to talk about things, you know. And it was super productive, I think. And then I started drawing, you know. I decided that today I didn't want to do digital. I really, because lately I've just been in an inky feel like I really wanted to just get on paper. So, yeah. And then right now I'm working on this hand. Um, I'll show you in a bit. I'll do a little bit of speed art. It's kind of wrapping up. We should get to that point. But anyway, it's going to look like Roar. Um, kind of looks like that. And I've, I've got like these, I'm using negative space. I'm not texturing them at all, but it's almost like a, like a stringy electricity or not like, not stringy. That's, that's the word I want to use, but not the word I want to use. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like stringy means it's to me almost feels a little too floppy. No, but like if you got electricity and instead of being super like everywhere, all these different little lines, I mean, it's just like a, a really thick spider web. Yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at. But yeah, so I'll show you guys what that looks like. Hi, buddy. And Mr. Coco, he um, he has to go to the vet here soon. His owner's gonna come grab him, I think in the next five, 10 minutes. So that'll be fun. And then I get to meet one of my landlords for the first time. I've been living here for three months. I haven't met him yet, so that's gonna be fun. And Coco hasn't seen him or his little human buddy that's like Four years old, his little he's ready. He hasn't seen him in three months, so I think he's really excited. You don't even know what's happening, do you? No, he doesn't. Look at him. Look at Coco. You don't even know what's happening, do you, buddy? You don't even know what's happening. He doesn't know what's happening. So yeah. Um skip to the drawing part. Alright, so here's what we got so far. I'm gonna set my phone up here in a second and kinda show you guys the process. I've got a lot left. Uh, and this is very experimental because I don't like now that I look at this. This side right here is just probably gonna be as dark as that side, which means I'm gonna have to darken this side eventually. And I haven't done anything like that. And in my mind, that's dark enough, when in reality it's not. Like it could definitely be fucking darker. So I'm gonna darken it. And I'm also gonna get a lot of like texture going in through here. Um, that's the point, it looks like it's getting torn away. Um, and then these like spindly things, I'm totally gonna keep them white. That's the point, I wanted these to be negative space. Um, and like I said, they're, I was describing earlier, they're not really stringy. Like they are and they're not. Like I don't, I don't know how to really explain it, but you can tell what I mean by it. So this is, these are gonna be the only white things here. Everything else is gonna have some sort of texture on it or dots, so. And look how dry my skin's been. So like, look how, it's not even really dry. It's more of it's so cold that it gets, my hands get wrinkly. So if I keep this up, I'm gonna be a wrinkly ass old man. So I need to, that's yuck, okay, yeah. Look at all those dots, isn't that crazy? And I'm, I have a lot more dots to put up here even. 
Freaking nuts. And then also, massive face. I love his art, he's dope, but he recommended this for me um, because I was using pens to like make this entire black and they would run out quick, but then he recommended getting these Posca markers. Got like, spent like 10 bucks, I got three of these markers, they're fat as hell and they cover so well. And then the shade of black is just so good. Like, look at that. It's so dark, it's so flat, I love it. Like, this covers so well. So yeah, shout out to Massive Face, he's dope. And like I said, he's one of a huge inspiration of mine as well. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. YouTuber, oh, God, look at look, look at my, look at me. Son of it's not happening. No, for real though. We're good. Anyway, this just makes my eyes look like bright and wonderful. Um, but about to go pick up my girls right now. Um, there's some tea tonight. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Gosh, you have no idea. This is why I like talking to girls more than I like talking to guys, because guys are boring and girls have tea, tea interesting tea it's always interesting and if not they always make it sound interesting by being so dramatic it's insane and then i get to be dramatic and then we all get to be dramatic and then it's like yes anyway so so um i'm gonna show you guys what i'm working on right now um it's really close to being done so i'm hoping i finish it before i go pick them up you know me i don't know you know what i mean like i'm probably gonna find 35 things i could add to this all of i don't even think i could even add 35 things but i'll figure it out but yeah here it is okay look at this i'm going on the, i got some more detailing down here that's about it and then a little bit i'm gonna darken it up here and i'm probably gonna go over it with copic markers i also have to detail the top part of the finger probably hit the thumb up a little bit more and maybe darken that up there but yeah those are some things i got it's looking pretty good though. I like. I would like to add red, but I don't know where, you know? And I think it'd be very cheesy if I did it here. I don't think it would look good at all, so. And down here, I mean, it'd almost be too like, not necessarily predictable, but like predictable. And also I think it would just stick out too much right there and it wouldn't really, or I don't know. I gotta think, maybe if I turn the whole hand purple or red and then let this stuff white, uh, I don't know, dude. Like,
it's done it looks good i gotta go to work in 30 minutes uh maybe 40 i'll push it i gotta edit a video this video in 40 minutes and have it up in 40 minutes impossible it really is i'm gonna be i always have to be late to work which sounds fun honestly i think i want to do it but it's not good so i'm not gonna be late but i mean for real cool but um yeah so hope you all like it yeehaw